As gamers, we have this feeling of entitlement, and yes, it's often disgusting. But at the same time, we are passionate about the games that we spend our time and money into. Jump Force is a fun game, and I love what it brings to the table 80% of the time. The other 20% is something Spike Chonsoft and Bandai just refuse to get right. That 20% of the hating community that still keeps up with the game but doesn't play it will probably find this video enjoyable. So, in this video, I'll list 5 changes Jump Force needs for PvP players. Next. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Enigma. I'm an anime gaming content creator amongst many things. Stick around, watch a few of my videos, and hey, maybe you'll subscribe today. As always, make sure to smash that like button because it greatly helps out the channel in more ways than you can imagine. So let's just jump right on in. Jump Force has been pretty quiet lately. That's nothing to be worried about because I have a feeling Spike Chonsoft is getting ready to bless the whole community in a couple days with Murom, an update, and some events. However, you notice the game just feels bland when nothing's going on. No events, no new characters, no news popping off by Bandai Namco, no nothing. Tokyo Game Show 2020, the Bandai live stream event, and the B-Jump scans on the 18th is something for us to look forward to. But for now, I have 5 changes I would love to see implemented on the server so that more players will stay on longer. Starting off with number 5, changes to the hub world. We've been staring at the same dang hub world for almost two years. As a former Monster Hunter World addict, I've seen the hub world go through so many changes seasonal, which made the whole hub world experience enjoyable. I want to feel like they care when we log on. The whole hub world was supposed to be a hangout spot for the players to pose and take pictures, but in reality, it's just a waste of poly and pixels. Adding some changes to the hub world and making things like the benches and stuff interactive. If you notice that you'd really just like travel through the hub world, it's huge. A huge waste of space. I don't understand why they have all these tunnels, all these benches, all these trees, and nothing changes. You saved the world, they didn't change anything, they didn't make a director seat for you or anything. I don't understand. The hub world was a waste. We could have just had regular menus. Please update the hub world, especially during holidays such as Christmas. Coming in at number 4, Mode Options. Let me explain. In the Nintendo Switch version, players can enter a 1v1 match if they choose to. This is exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version and it is an offline option. Them having the ability to go from 3v3 to 1v1 is changing the user experience. If you've been following me for a while, I've reported on the leaked tournament mode that was scheduled to be released during the time Madara was announced. That was a standalone mode separate from the tournament battle event. If Spike Chonsoft could somehow release this or rather patch this into the game, it could serve as a private lobby of sorts for the players. And it could definitely refresh the game for when there's no real events currently going on. Give the players more options outside of the missions and events. Number 3. More CAC exclusive stuff. Yes, this is for my CAC players. Every now and then it's pretty cool to bust out your CAC and get in a couple matches. I still don't agree with them being able to be in ranked matches, but now that they have less health than the rest of the cast, it's truly your call. Spike Chunsoft added a couple CAC exclusive moves last year and I was super hyped. The problem is you can't go full in with replicating your favorite jump character that's not included in the game because the options are so limited. We have heavyweight characters but yet we cannot make heavyweight characters. Everyone looks like a pretty boy or a little girl in a lifeless doll. Adding body options, more exclusive moves, and costumes can revamp the experience for players. I know this is something they could add in a future game. I'm not trying to wait that long. Just drop more content for your supporting community. Rolling in at number 2, the ranking system. Jump Force ranked matches to the average player is a complete mess. Ranking up takes entirely too long, but to de-rank it only takes about 2 matches. All these smurf accounts are running around due to the ranking system being off and people are scared to lose their high B and A ranks. The whole experience becomes terrible and depressing. I can only hope Spike Chonsoft would adjust it because the amount of players playing friendly matches versus the ranked matches is a huge gap, trust me. You can find a friendly match within 5 seconds and sometimes you're in a high rank waiting for a match for 2 minutes. Finally at number 1, gameplay changes. I honestly was about to put community manager at number 1, but that's a different conversation. Anywho, 
Jump Force has some of the most questionable mechanics I've ever seen in an arena fighter. There's no clash system, the super armor is just not fun to fight against most of the time, stupid mechanics like high speed dodge exist, and of course the punishing is almost non-existent. I hate that bad players get rewarded more than the good players most of the time. They get their ultimate first, they get to escape with 1% of mobility meter, guard break cheese is still a thing, and is available if you know what you're doing. I'm starting to think that Spike Chonsoft either cannot fix it or will not fix the issue because it's something too complicated for the team. J Stars has stupid mechanics too, so of course Jump Force falls right in line five years later. I've been waiting for a drastic update for a while now, and we are very much overdue. I just wish there was someone who could relay our message to the dev team because we really could use a community manager. Anyway, those are my five changes to improve PvP experience. If you have anything you want to add, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below and make sure to drop a like and share this to a friend. As always, I'm Enigma, signing off. Peace, guys.